Welcome to the Retro Workbench. This is my Fujitsu Lifebook T4215 from 2006. I picked it up a few months ago at VCF East. I made a whole video about my experience at VCF East, which I'll link in the description. This computer has an Intel Core 2 Duo T5500 clocked at 1.66 gigahertz, one gigabyte of RAM, and a 120 gigabyte SSD. Everything I can find about the T4215 says it originally came with a hard drive, so I think the SSD is probably an aftermarket upgrade. It's got all the usual mid-2000s laptop features. Three USB 2.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, 802.11G Wi-Fi, a 56K modem, VGA out, infrared, a PC card slot, a smart card slot, headphone and microphone jacks, a combination SD card and memory stick slot, and a modular drive bay. This is where you could put an optical drive or in the case of this particular computer, a second battery. It's a good thing I have the second battery because the main battery is totally dead. But like I said, those are all standard laptop features for the era. Here's the feature I really want to show you. This laptop is also a tablet. It's running Windows XP Tablet PC Edition, which is just Windows XP Professional with a few extra programs just for tablets. It has a Wacom pin-able digitizer and stylus. My computer was missing the stylus, so I bought this compatible one on eBay. It has a pressure-sensitive nib, two buttons on the side, and one button on the end. These buttons can be used for functions like right-clicking and erasing. Of course, nowadays, tablet-laptop hybrids are common. They're now called two-in-ones, and they're made by pretty much every manufacturer. And of course, you can also just attach a keyboard to an iPad and use it like a laptop. But in the 2000s, this was a pretty new concept. Tablet computers existed before then, but the tablet PC, which was Microsoft's name for this form factor, was their big push to standardize touchscreen computing and make it mainstream. We're going to look at some of the special features of Windows XP Tablet PC Edition. We'll look at some extra software Microsoft released just for tablet PCs, and maybe even try out some games. I had to put the computer on a cooling pad because it gets extremely hot. I think it probably needs a new fan. Um, I'll have to do that later at some point. But uh, the cooling pad also props the computer up, so it makes it a little bit easier to record. But here we are in Microsoft Word 2007, which is probably what you would have used on a laptop from this time period. And it looks like just normal Microsoft Word, but because this is a tablet, it's got an extra feature. So when I hover, you see this icon that pops up. This is the tablet PC input panel. And this allows you to use handwriting recognition. So right now I'm just in the writing pad mode. So I can just write. The retro workbench and it shows up right there. And then I can press insert and it puts it in the document. So that's the writing pad mode. The next mode is called character pad. And in the character pad mode, actually I'm gonna uh, foreshadowing here. In the character pad mode, you can write one letter at a time in each one of these spaces. So I'm just going to write Fujitsu. And we can insert that. So the next mode is on-screen keyboard, and that was what I foreshadowed just a second ago. Uh, this mode just lets you type directly on the screen, just like a keyboard. So here, um, oh, I have caps lock on. Uh, let's just type Windows XP. And that's it. That's the tablet PC input panel. So we just took a look at Microsoft Word, but here's a program made specifically for tablet PCs. This is Windows Journal. This is a note-taking application. So you can see on the screen you have these lines. It looks like a sheet of notebook paper. 
and of course you can write on the screen. Now this doesn't use handwriting recognition, so it's not gonna transform your handwriting into text. It's still just gonna be handwriting. So we can just write whatever we want on the screen. Uh, let's uh, just write to-do list, and then we can just write whatever, uh, check emails, call vet, pick up prescriptions, and you see it's just, it's still handwriting, it's not text. But you can still, you can do whatever you want here. You can draw on the screen. I can just draw a big happy face. And if I decide I don't like something, I can hold down this button, this back button on the pen, and I can erase that mouth, and I can turn this into a sad face. Um, so there's different types of pens here. Like I was using the fine point, but there's also a fine chisel it just looks a little different. Uh, very fine point, which looks pretty similar to the fine point. Oh, that's because it was the fine point. This is very fine point. That still looks the same. Uh, here's a medium point. Oh, that's red. And then a marker. It just gives you a much thicker line. There's also a highlighter. So you could highlight something like this and it has these different colors and different thicknesses there's a th thick highlighter and extra thick and it also has flags so if something's really important you could just put a flag on it uh, there's different colors you put a green flag here um, so there you go, that's Windows Journal. Here's Inkball. This is a game made just for tablets, and you can see you have these colored balls here and these colored goals, and the object is to just get the balls into the right goals. Um, and you have to use the pen to do that. So we're just gonna start a new game. Okay, both of these are gonna be blue, so they both go in the same goal. Okay, that one was pretty easy. Okay, now we got a blue and an orange. Okay, this one looks a little more difficult. Okay, and that's Inkball. Here's sticky notes. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a simulation of the paper sticky notes that you probably have all over your desk. And uh, just like Windows Journal, um, you know, you can write on here, but it doesn't use handwriting recognition, so it's not gonna convert what you write into text. It's just gonna remain handwriting. So, So yeah, that just says hello and it's it's not converted to text. And of course you can still draw on there. You can put whatever you want. Um, but it has another feature, which is voice notes. This record button right here, this lets you record a voice note. This is a voice note. There you go. And you can have multiple notes on here, so. If you hit new note, you get another note. And you can use your arrow buttons to go between the notes. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple program. Here's Ink Art. This is a drawing program that simulates drawing on a piece of paper. Um, down here, you can choose between a pen, a pencil, a crayon, a couple of different types of paint brushes, and an eraser. Um, I'm not an artist, but I'll just, you know, show you. Of course, you can, we'll do another smiley face because apparently that's all I can draw. And you see that it's, it's kind of faint. Uh, that's because of the pressure sensitivity. So if I put a lot of pressure, 
you can see it's a much darker line. Um, this is the pencil. I can show you some of the others. Like this is a crayon. Uh, we can change the color of that. Yeah, you can really see the pressure sensitive feature on this. Or the paintbrush. You can make the paintbrush bigger. We'll change the color again. Yeah, I'm not applying much pressure and you see it starts to fade away, but when I apply more, you get that thick line. Um, here's the eraser, we can... Just erase, and it's not, it's not like the eraser in the other programs where it just completely erases it. It just, it, it's, it's more like a real rubber eraser where the harder you push, the more it erases. So if I just kind of lightly use it, you see you can still see it. But if I really push it, it totally erases. Uh, let's look at some of these others. Uh, is that like a different type of crayon? I think that's the back end of the crayon. And then here's a pen. Yeah, you can really see the pressure sensitivity there. So there you go, that's Ink Art. Here we have two programs that, in my opinion, should have been combined into one program. On the top, we've got Calculator for Tablet PC, and on the bottom, we have Equation Writer. So Calculator for Tablet PC is exactly what it sounds like. It's a calculator. It uses handwriting recognition. So. You write two, you get plus seven, nine. There you go. Pretty simple. But say you wanted to write it like this, two plus seven. It doesn't work. It doesn't recognize that there's a plus sign or that there's two numbers there. It just, this all, all you can do here is just write numbers. And even if you wanted to try to do something like two to the fifth, it doesn't do that. So you still have to use the function buttons. Now, on the bottom, we've got equation writer. So if you write two to the fifth here and press convert, it converts that into two to the fifth. Or, you know, you wanna write two plus seven. It understands that, but there's no way to get it into the calculator. And you can even do some, you know, more advanced stuff. You know, if you wanted to see, you know, like the fourth root of 7,845, it even recognizes that that's what you wrote. Wouldn't it be great if you could take this and then put it into the calculator? But there's no way to do that. So to me, this is just a missed opportunity. This is one of the strangest programs Microsoft released for tablet PCs. This is handwriting analysis tool. And what this is, is you, you write this phrase here, give tablets ice cream often, and it analyzes your handwriting and tells you about your personality. So I'm going to write this and let's see what it says about me. Okay, here's my results. Attitude, you are pessimistic about your future. You neither procrastinate nor hurry. You enjoy physical and hands-on activities. Mental ability, you rely heavily on intuition and make decisions carefully. Communication, you keep your innermost thoughts to yourself. However, you enjoy discussions and are receptive to other opinions. You can be deceitful to yourself. Goals, you set ambitious long-term goals, though sometimes vague. Fortunately, you have strong willpower, enthusiasm, endurance, and self-confidence helping you to achieve those goals. Self-image. 
you are confident and self-assured and resultantly set ambitious long-term goals. However, you are also sensitive to criticism and need approval. Emotional. You are a cautious person who thinks carefully before acting. You keep feelings inside and do not express them openly in order to protect yourself. However, you can be empathetic and sympathetic and forgive and forget quickly. Social skills. You are a solitary person and desire to work alone and be alone most of the time. However, you do feel isolated sometimes. Um, okay, well, I guess some of that might be pretty accurate. Um, they do say that this program is just for entertainment purposes, though, so I guess take that with a grain of salt. But there you go. That's handwriting analysis tool. This is dots. It's a pretty simple game. You connect two dots at a time. And the idea is you're trying to make squares. When you make a square, it fills in blue. When the computer makes a square, it fills in red. So you want to try to keep the computer from filling in squares. See, right here I can make a square. And when you get a square, you can draw another line. Um, see, I don't want to draw a line here because then the computer could fill it in. So I can just I can draw a line anywhere else. And there you go. That's dots. This is phraseology. It's kind of like a Wheel of Fortune type game. You just guess the letters to try to make the phrase. Um, there's there's nothing really tablet specific about this other than the fact that it has you draw the letters instead of type them. So let's just try to guess some letters. We'll do E. Okay, there's some E's. Um, There's A's. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Well, those are a few of the features of Windows XP Tablet PC Edition. There's a lot more I could have covered, so I might make another video on this at some point. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, why not go ahead and subscribe? Have you ever used a tablet PC? Tell me about it in the comments. I've got lots more projects like this coming up, so if you want to see previews of my projects, follow me on your social media platform of choice. Don't forget about my merch store at shop.theretroworkbench.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me again on The Retro Workbench.